Welcome to the workshop on the value of parent orientation, part two. Let me read Hebrews 13, 16 again, because this is a key verse. But to do good and to communicate, forget not. For with such sacrifices, God is well pleased. In our last session, I shared the importance and the value of parent orientation. Parent orientation gives a platform to build a better homeschool relationship. In this session, we want to share the important items that should be covered in parent orientation. Roman numeral number two, what is covered in parent orientation? Number one, introduce the staff and their responsibilities. The pastor or administrator can introduce them or a staff or the staff can introduce themselves and make a few comments or give a brief testimony. It is good for parents to be acquainted with all the staff. Even if their children never sit under them, it will build support for the school if they know them by name and where they are serving in the school. Remember, an informed people will be a supportive people. Number two, introduce parents to each other. This can be done several different ways. Have parents stand and introduce themselves. The pastor or principal can introduce the parents or each parent introduces the person next to them. You can be creative, but make sure it's without offending or embarrassing anyone. Number three, cover school policies and the handbook. Parents may not agree with every policy or guideline you have, but they know what it is because you've care covered it publicly. Some schools have a parent sign and date a form to seal their support of the content in the handbook. Make sure you also give the opportunity for parents to ask questions during parent orientation. Changes in policy and guidelines or procedures need to be covered thoroughly so that the parents understand. Number four, cover parental responsibilities and what the school expects from parents. Cover financial policies that parents will be responsible for. Very early on in my school ministry, I realized two things that were very near and dear to the heart of parents, and that is the parents' children and their money. Parents will get very defensive and are very sensitive when it comes to their children and their money. Cover financial policies very thoroughly so that parents understand them. Cover events that you expect parents to participate in. Examples could be supervisor parent conferences, student seasonal programs like Christmas, Thanksgiving, or Easter, regional student convention, and international student convention. How about awards programs? And graduations could be senior or kindergarten, fundraisers, and sporting events. Share clearly dates and times that students need to be at the school. Number five, ACE distinctives. ACE is different from government education. The success of ACE for over 50 years in over 140 countries rests in their different approach to a child learning. Here are the five distinctives, and parents need to know these so that they will appreciate the ACE program. Number one, scriptural foundation and a priority on scripture in all of the curriculum. Number two, Individualized learning, where students work on their level of comprehension and understanding. Number three, mastery-based self-instructional learning that ensures mastery before the student can progress. Number four, biblical character building with the 90 character traits emphasized in all of the fourth edition paces. Number five, 
student programs that give students the opportunity to grow and serve outside of the curriculum. Number six, procedures for a successful education. The ACE program places responsibility on the student for learning. They learn character and how to work and how to set goals. Scoring is a major part of the ACE program and parents need to understand the importance of it when it comes to character building and for the student to develop not only academically but spiritually. Goal setting is another big part of the ACE program and goal setting carries through into our adult, adult life. Proverbs 22 and verse 6 reads, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Number seven, you may want to share in detail about the character traits because it is so unique to the ACE program. Godly character is what build our nation, and it needs to be emphasized for our children to live pleasing lives as citizens and as Christians. Many parents lack knowledge when it comes to biblical character and need training themselves. Take the time to invest in your parents. Number eight, student programs. ACE is more than a Christian curriculum. It is a program that allows students to experience character and serving. There are five separate opportunities that students can participate in outside of the ACE curriculum. Number one, regional student convention. There are 15 regional student conventions across the United States for students 13 to 19 years old to be able to compete in a, over 140 events ranging from academics to athletics. Number two, International Student Convention, a week of competition, preaching, and fellowship with other students from all over the world. And I emphasize that. One year, we ate breakfast with a group of students from South Africa. What a blessing that was. What an eye-opener it was for our students. A slogan that is used many times when it comes to ISC is this, where else can one week last a lifetime? The decisions, experiences, and edification will carry through life and affects how one lives for the rest of their life. There may be additional items you want to cover in parent orientation. Be careful about the time restraints. Number three, we have RSC, ISC, Number three is BLESS. BLESS, B-L-E-S-S, -S, stands for Basic Literacy Education Saving Souls. BLESS is a 12 to 15 week program where children that are impoverished and underprivileged get to learn how to read and more importantly, learn about Jesus. $200 can support a BLESS Center and your children and your students can learn at an early age how they can have value when it comes to compassion by ministering to these children. Number four, service adventure. Students ages 16 and older can experience the thrills and the challenges of world missions through a two-week experience at service adventure. And number five, educational assistance. Upon graduation, students can serve in a foreign country assisting a school using the ACE curriculum. There are opportunities to serve around the world in educational assistance. Remember, ACE is more than a curriculum. That will dictate what is shared as far as your time and the group of parents that you have for that given year. If the majority of your parents are new, there will be different emphasis. If the majority of your parents are veteran, then you can go a little deeper and share more things in particular 
about your school. Keep in mind, though, that parents don't have the same knowledge of the Christian school that you have because of your leadership and involvement. It becomes imperative that you use parent orientation to build a better homeschool relationship and share as much knowledge as possible. This concludes the second part on the value of parent orientation. Our final session will deal with tried, tested, and proven suggestions for a successful parent orientation. Let's pray. Dear Lord, I thank you again for the opportunity to share this material, and I pray that it'll be a blessing to many schools and many parents, and I pray that schools would realize the value of parent orientation and not minimize it, but be determined to conduct it on an annual basis. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.